Hello, I'm users. We have another awesome rapid prototyping session right now, and uh, Ryan's going to be sharing some details with us. Uh, take it away, Ryan. Thanks. Yeah, so this is pretty bare bone, but we're trying to change up how we are setting up the architecture of the Chrome extension to give us basically more features and let us uh, develop some a lot easier. So you can tell this is not what our current Chrome extension looks like. There's no styling. There's no storytell branding. This is really just uh, you know, kind of the bare bones of how the new Chrome extension would look. But essentially, we added this show pop out functionality, which would allow the extension to be popped out in its own window within the browser. You'd be able to click and drag it and move it around. Um, similar functionality to what you expect right now. You can hide that and it would just show up as this little tab right here. Again, it wouldn't look like this, but you can imagine it would look or uh, be a tab on the side like this. And then we also have the functionality where you can drag it up and down around the screen. It looks like our current tab is getting in the way, but um, if there's some something on the screen that our tab is covering, you'd be able to just click and drag it Beautiful. and move it out of the way. Beautiful. Um, obviously it's a little bit buggy, but yeah, this is a great start for what we're, some of the features we're trying to add pretty soon. Awesome. Ryan, what questions do you have or what helps you need with this? Mm. Nothing currently, I don't believe. Okay. Um, so what would we want to know from users here? I think um, around like, do you want this, can, is this resizable, Brian? The, this pop-out? The pop -out? Yeah. It would be, yes. This one is not, but it will be in the future. Okay, got it. Um, but yeah, like what else in this experience do you want, essentially? And one, one thing about that, Ryan, I'm, you might have already said this, but I wasn't, maybe I don't understand. It, with this pop-out, can I repin it, like, to the, if I want it on the left side as a sidebar, can I, like, basically repin it to the left versus the right, or I can pin it to somewhere so it kind of, like, persistently stays there? Sure, we can do that. This doesn't have that functionality. It's currently only on the right if you moved it back to the sidebar like this, but, yes, we can have that pretty easily. Okay, so maybe that would be a great thing to get hear from users. Like, if you want to be able to move it somewhere, what do you, how do you want it to behave? Do you want it to be, do you want to be able to move it to the left and have it be a side bar on the left, or you want to be able to pin it to the top or the bottom, et cetera? Mm -hmm. And then also, Ryan, can you show being able to, sh to move the tab around? Sure. So with that tab right now, does it just go up and down? It does, yes. Can I move the tab to the left side or to the top or anything like that? Can I no. just, like, move the tab? Not currently, it's gonna to stick to the right side right now. Got it, so that would be another thing to understand from users, like how important would that be to be able to move where the tab is? Cool, and then does this also change the way that we're resizing pages or is that functionality basically work the same way with this versus the iframe? It's gonna work the same, so it's still gonna cover some pages, unfortunately. Got it, okay. Uh, this may be tangential to that, but one thing that I was observing was when we can't process a piece of content, it would be beneficial for Storytel to close versus staying open and saying we can't process it because it's basically not adding any value at that point. Right. So anyway, we can probably talk about that feature with that in that other time, but it might, yeah, like we could maybe talk about what it looks like when it's closed here. And also we were talking this morning about being able to chat when it's closed or things like that. So Jane, do you have any thoughts about that? You were bringing that up this morning. Do we want yeah. that as, as part of this? Well, I'm just, from users. maybe, I guess I'm just wondering, maybe it's a question for users. So when it's closed, like it says tab here, do you want to be able to have some user control, some of the things that you can do when it's closed, or do you want to just be opening it to take actions? So like, imagine if you could, if there was like a little chat icon or a little like summary icon, you know, maybe it doesn't just say tab, it could say, you know, like there are a couple of things that you could do and you could just click that thing and get that functionality, but not have it open. Would that be helpful? Exactly. Okay. All right. So those are a bunch of questions for users. We'd love to hear from you as we build this. Anything else from anybody? Thoughts, questions, observations while Emma's recording? I think we're good. Okay.